So we're gonna show you the difference of dirty veins and clean veins. So you can see here, we have this bearing housing, really dirty and could cause the veins to cycle poorly. So we can see here when we're testing, it's very sticky. And once it gets to about right there, it wants to stop. And as you can see, they're not cycling properly. You really gotta get in there to make it finish that cycle there. Go back down, very tough, very tough. I can feel it sticking. There it goes. We can go over here, see clean what clean veins are look like. Very easy to move. Very smooth there. So people will say, you know, they have a bad actuator when it really could just be, you know, dirty veins like this. Actuator could be good. Most of the time, you gotta run a test of your veins. That'll give you a good opinion if you have a bad actuator or not. This one looks like it's got some excessive oil buildup that could be resisting it or, you know, carbon buildup, same thing like that. Or also a piston seal in there could be out of place. Old bearing housing, dirty veins. We're gonna see how this performs. So it's learning it, calibrating it. This is just a step. Unplug it, plug it back in. Yeah, it's like at the end there. So then, it's gonna reverse it. It's gonna bring the veins back down. Yep, look at that, right at the beginning. So then we could also, so we're gonna do uh, test one here. So this will run for about 30 seconds or so and give us some results. So it finished its cycling, so we're gonna go ahead and press stop. So the fastest time, the slowest time, it's actually a little bit slower. Still came out as good, but still acting like dirty cycling veins like they would. Gonna go ahead and do reverse of what we just did. So the veins are gonna go back to the bearing housing away. It's going to open them. I could hear it, how much it's struggling trying to go past all the soot, oil, you know, buildup that's in there. Has a hard time with that. About right here, which is, you know, probably 60% from the top to about 60% down. Struggling extremely hard. And then it got past all the dirt and oil and then it was totally fine. So I know here that I have a good actuator and this bearing housing is dirty. It's causing resistance to the way the veins are cycling. So in this case, there could be uh, you no know, dirty turbo. So you'd rather want to get your turbo looked at, gone through, cleaned up. So I'm going to go and put the same actuator on a clean turbo here. So we're going to start all the way from the beginning. I just put my finger there to make sure it's calibrating the turbo. Same step. Unplug, plug it back in, gonna run test one. All right, so it's finished. It's gonna give us our results. Time is way faster on this one. So beat, beat the slowest time, it's good. Numbers look good. So. I think our slowest time with the clean turbo was actually faster than the fastest time. Yeah, the better move on to the second test where it's going to yeah. give us our Slow effort and deviation. Look at that. Same exact actuator. But now it's saying it's good. All because of this stuff. Put it in reverse and see what results it gives us now. Put it in reverse, Tim! Put it in reverse! Oh, Lord! There it is. Passes. So before you go and replace your turbo, 
Maybe pull it apart, check it out. Hey, what kind of turbo is that? I don't know how to spell it. I was never good at spelling, but it's called the Commander. Keep your mind out of the gutter, dude.